Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are on the Weekend Series. This is pretty much the premiere of the new GeoGuessr competitive mode. Today we are in for our first matches of this Weekend Series. And so we've got two more days to play them. You can play countries, distance, and duels. And uh, yeah, I say let's get straight into things here. So I think the way it works is that you can play uh, 10, 10 games of each game mode. And then your total after all of that, so after 30 games, is what puts you on the leaderboard. So the best anyone has managed so far is 30 games with 28 first place and two second place. Um, so that is like definitely a, a good one. And if it's a tie, then it comes down to how quickly you guessed as far as I can tell. So yeah, definitely interesting here. You can see my friends tab as well. All the people who've done pretty well here. So I say it's time to get in here. Obviously, we won't be able to play 30 games in a single video, but I think I might do one of each, and then if we have extra time, I'll do a few more jewels as well. Uh, but yeah, let's do it in order and head straight in for a country battle royale here, I say. So if it works, which it appears to be. Okay, so here we are, and it seems like I'm one of the highest rated people in the lobby, so hopefully this won't be too hard. And of course, we're playing no moving. I'm going to do all these with no moving, so if we lose, we lose, but... Uh, yeah, off the bat here, feeling like it could be like a, hmm, feeling like it could be like Italy or Croatia. I'm just going to wait and see. First round, everyone progresses, so I just want to see what people are kind of getting here. So, Australia is the first one. Wouldn't be right with this blue strip. Um, yeah, I think, I think, um, it could even be Baltics, but yeah, I didn't actually know. With a hill in the background, this one will be somewhere around here. I might go Croatia first, just because that's my first, um impression not croatia so lucas already going for his 50 50. i might just sit back here and relax a bit because i don't think we're in a significant risk of not getting it, it should just be italy or something like that even though we don't have two blue strips on this plate to be fair okay the fact that i don't want to go out first round here i'm actually going to go check this number plate don't quite know where this is Oh, thank goodness it was Greece. Oh my goodness. I actually thought I was going to go out first try there. I will go no moving from now on, but here's the thing. All these players are terrible or bots, which seems to be the way it, when you play this time of day at, at on GeoGuessr. And so I was like, there was no good other guesses there. So yeah, eventually I do get Greece there. Thank goodness. Uh, anyway, this one should be US or Canada. I probably lean Canada perhaps. So let's go there. Yep, we're first ones to get that. So that's nice. I mean, yeah, ideally we'd get that a bit quicker. Obviously, because the time matters as well, it's a little annoying. But yeah, there we go. We finally got it. Yeah, so trying to get there as, as far as I can without moving. I mean, that first round was just a little bit cringeworthy because, man, it's not, like, these guys are not humans, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is just very frustrating. In a normal game against humans, I would not have to do that, of course. Okay, next round here. We have five of us still in here. This one's a Winterscape. We've got a long antenna thinking... Yeah, I was thinking um, Sweden off the bat, and I still think I'll lock that in. Seems like we've at least got a couple of humans here. But yeah, where else could this be? I think it is going to be Sweden. I guess it could be Finland. Um, yeah, not, nothing to say it wouldn't be Finland. Let's go for that. Yeah, so it is just a Gen 3 Finland. I, something about it. I guess it was like right near the Swedish border, so that kind of makes sense. But what about it made me think Sweden here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was kind of just one of those rounds. But actually, this is a Finnish snowpole, I think. We actually move over here. Uh... Well, actually, no, it was broken off, so you couldn't really tell. So, yeah, definitely a tough round, but, yeah, these are the, the Swedish bollards. I mean, a Finnish bollards. <laughs> okay, seems like we're going to pro progress. iPhone does not make a single guess. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, it's just three of us now. Seems like this might be Gen 4, maybe somewhere in Southeast Asia. Let's take a look around. Okay, lots of English. Okay, so we are in Vietnam with this motorbike coverage, presumably. I mean, yeah, with the concrete road and all that would certainly make sense here. Um, don't know where the, oh, where, where is this guy actually then? Okay, where is this coverage? Indonesia? I think, I think it's actually Taiwan here. No, no, Taiwan can't be selected. So wh what's this uh, striped thing about then? So where are the, uh, seems like the steering wheel is on the right hand side here. I'm just going to go for Indonesia because, or Taiwan. Tie for left, I think. I don't know. He's already guessed Thailand. Yeah. What an idiot guess, man. Uh, I think it should be Indo, though, right? So he guesses India. There's so much English around this part. It's not going to be Singapore. I think we might be destined not to win here. So much English. What is this all about, huh? I've never come across this coverage before. Big white number plate, huh? 
So is white number plate shouldn't be... Okay, so is it just Sri Lanka then? The concrete road, I guess so. I think this is actually Sri Lanka with all the... Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting one. We're gonna go for Sri Lanka here, let's see. And it was Philippines with oh, the, all that English everywhere. I thought the steering wheel was on the right hand side. So that's why I was going for left hand side driving countries. Anyway, we get second or third, I guess. Let's actually see what it, what it, what it tells us for that one. So we get one second there. Okay, so that's good. Um, and uh, it seems like everyone's average times are about the same here. So let's do a distance uh, battle now. Uh, and we might have to wait a little bit for this to start based on Australian times. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We on to distance battle royale. Seems like we probably only have a couple of humans in here, I would say. Unfortunately, once again, that's kind of the reality of playing in Australian time. Uh, anyway, we're driving right out of the road here. Latin America, short plates. I think Ecuador off the bat here. I think Ecuador, either that or... Could, I guess it could be... Well, let's see what Google car we have. We have none. So it's, it's either Ecuador or uh, Mexico here, I think. Do we see any octagonal poles? Is what I'm wondering to myself. It doesn't seem like we do. And these orange number plates. So yes, I do think we should be somewhere in Ecuador here. And so I just think one guess will probably do us just fine. I'll guess in Quito. And yeah, we're, we're easily closest here, so that is good at least. If I had to say, we're probably actually like in Manta or or this city here. That's probably, I reckon we're probably there because it seems flat around here. And yeah, I was right. We're in that city or just outside it. So we get correct area and survived round. So we are on six spare guesses now. Everyone else is on five or less. So that's good. Just Gaming Boys NZ gets knocked out. Unlucky, mate. Okay, here's the next one. Maxima 60. Uh, no Google car here. If it looks like USA and you see some uh, see some uh, Spanish, it generally speaking, is going to be somewhere in Argentina or Uruguay, I would say. The fact that we're missing... Well, the longer I look at this, this could actually be Europe or something. Uh, let, let's just guess in Argentina, because um, I'm not playing that well today, to be honest, but let's just guess in Argentina. Okay, we're 9,000 kilometers ahead, so presumably we are down here and not anywhere um, in Europe. It's just this... Um, this big clock tower here that kind of reminded me of more of a European uh, scene. But uh, yeah, okay, so one guy's closer than us, but yeah, I think we're pretty much safe here. Should be just fine. Okay, so we, yep, we were decently close near Rosario there. Yep, not bad, just a bunch of the bots. I, 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 I swear, guys, these just, are the, just bots. They're just bots. It's quite disappointing, honestly, but um, apart from the bots, do tell me, guys, in the comments what you think of the comp competitive mode so far. Like, I definitely think it's pretty good, um, this one should be another Ecuador, I think. Um, I, I think it's pretty good. Like, overall, I do rate it. Um, but I want to know what you guys think as well. And, uh, also, be sure to give this video a like. Um, definitely helps me out in the algorithm, so I'd really appreciate that as well. But, um, yeah, yeah, do, 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 do comment what you, what you guys think overall. For me, I do think it's good. Um, and the 30 win cap is kind of interesting. The big problem at the moment is all the cheaters, that's for sure. Um... But I don't really know how you could um, how you could fix that, to be honest, because it seems like that's pretty... Like, as soon as you introduce competitive elements into GeoGuessr, it's just super easy to cheat. Obviously, I won't go into how um, how it is easy, but yeah, it, it seems to be the case. So, what can you really do, right? Um, but yeah, it looks like we are going to be closest on this one as well, I dare say. And here we go. Where were we? we? We're still closest. We could be in the right city, to be honest. We were right in the right city. I accidentally click, didn't click right there, but we get three extra guesses. So we're on nine now. Without even moving, we are absolutely destroying everyone. And yeah, everyone got Latin America there, so at least somewhat impressive. Although the Brazil guess wasn't the best. This one, however, red and yellow. Or red and, okay, so let's see this language here. I think that looks Hungarian to me. And with the generation four, that would make sense. Do we have any holy poles though? So I guess it's either um, Czechia or Hungary. Uh, to, to be honest, it's quite healy, so maybe this is just Czech language. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's actually Czech, not Hungarian. So let us just go, uh, let's just put one in Brno and maybe one, like, I guess near Prague as well. Okay, so we got a little closer when we did that. So it's probably somewhere like over here if we're triangulating. But I don't think we're going to need to use another guess. It just seemed like it was worth using two on this one. Um, but yeah, we still got three guys behind us, so should be fine. Okay, and it was indeed Czechia. And yeah, I would have guessed on the exact right spot there, but 
yeah, it wasn't exactly worth it because all we would have been doing is wagering for an extra guess, which we would have used going there anyway. So that's just fine. But yeah, decent, decent stuff. Glad I worked out the language eventually. Uh, this one is in Wynnum, which I think should be somewhere in Queensland, j judging by the landscape here, but I'm not actually sure where Wynnum is. Uh, yeah, so it, yeah, it's definitely somewhere around... Well, what, where am I zooming into? Uh, definitely somewhere around this area here, Woodford... Where's Wynnum? I, I assume it's somewhere between here. Oh, uh, but yeah, we're gonna be close. We're gonna be close enough here, so we may as well just actually search and try and get a nice guess. But yeah, I imagine we're somewhere out here. Huh, I wonder where it actually is. Well, we'll find out soon enough anyway, but uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go right here and we're gonna get closest easily. Watch this. Oh, wow, not even closest easily. So maybe it is further out this direction. Uh, if anyone's been Googling it, I suppose that's why they might be closer. Um, but I don't think anyone's going to get above us here, so let's find out where it actually is. And, okay, so it was just in Brisbane. There you go. And, well, my man actually found it, or he's Googling. Probably the latter, but, uh, you know, that is that is the way these things go, man. So here's the next one. We've got a folded back sign, black and yellow lamp post here. Um, generation 2 as well. So, well, and black number plate. So this one should be somewhere in Singapore, which is... Not necessarily a good thing. I think we should be like somewhere outskirts if we're generation two. So let's hope there's nothing too Googleable and let's just uh, get in here and just put down a bunch of guesses because both of our opponents have plenty of spares and I do think some of them probably are not playing fully legit either. And I would love to read that. To be honest, I would not be averse to moving around even if people get a little closer than me here. But okay, so we're getting closer. Oh, so 5.3 kilometers away. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna like go over this side, I wanna say. Uh, so still 5.3 kilometers away, so maybe between. Uh, okay, there. Okay, now I'm closer. That's good, that's good. Now I can chill. Uh, save the rest of our guesses. How many do we have left? Uh, we've got six left, so we could use another, but I'm pretty sure that LL Polgu, Polu is not going to uh, get above us here, so that's fine. And of course, we were very close. How close indeed, though? Nice, we, we managed to triangulate very, very well indeed there. That was only uh, 900 meters from the correct location, so pretty pleased with that. And here we go, now it's just me and Lil Bumbler. So hopefully it's not an easy country. Looks like we're somewhere in Europe here. Uh, these poles, this architecture and whatnot would probably suggest that we're in Poland. I think Poland, but uh, hopefully there's nothing too Googleable. So I'm going to put one in Poland first. I might start with like a nice little let's see let's see if we get closer here okay so we're 1.4 thousand kilometers closer here so now i want to kind of head further north because bless me uh, i i do think we are somewhere probably further over here so we may as well just be using guesses here he's 270 kilometers closer this would be it. this would be a stupid way to lose to this googler uh so that does not get us any closer so could this be romania or something I don't really think so, but I'm just going to put a guess in there anyway. So that's good. Okay, we know that. And now we just guess like near Warsaw, I guess. It's painful. Uh, and we're not getting any closer. So maybe even somewhere over here. One. Oh, sad. It was hungry, man. Okay, so did not recognize the architecture. I, I guess that's a legit loss there. I don't know why I went Romania rather than Hungary. Um, bit stupid, but... Whatever, uh, I just find Battle, whoops, I don't want to play again, no, 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 no. Um, I find Battle Royale pretty boring, to be honest. Um, just gonna keep it away 100. I I, I, uh, I I like making videos of the new content, but at the same time, jewels are much more fun, so let's go do one of those before we end out the video. Okay, so we are versing a level 900. That is much more what I'm talking about, an actual human player. This one is gonna be the better part of the video, I think. So this one feels Northern New Zealand. Pretty easy guess here, so I'm just gonna put him into bat. Somewhere north of Auckland should be fine. And let's see how he goes. Actually, maybe a little bit further north might have been the play here, but regardless, it won't be many points in it because I am quite sure that this is NZ rather than Australia. Look at all these ferns and everything. Great way of uh, distinguishing it. And not to mention there's probably a bollard right there. And so we are super close. That is good. Good start against this fella. And we take off a good 700 points. So not nothing to be sniffed at. A good start. Next one... Seems like uh, Argentina. I might just go for a real quick plonk here. Oh, is it Argentina though? Okay, Euros, it's not Arg. So I guess Spanish, Spain then. Uh, and given that we're like on a crossing, could we be somewhere? 
I don't know, maybe, like, I don't know, let's just go there, I'm not really sure, okay, so it was Portugal near Lisbon, surprisingly enough, I just went on the Portuguese border, uh, probably not the most fantastic guess, because it probably would have been more hilly where I clicked, but, yeah, knew it couldn't be the French border, but that was just, uh, that was just like a toll gate or something, Oh, this one is quite obviously in Andorra, so let's just go quickly, it's, I think it's good to get the first guess in, because you get a better, um, like, you get, you get a better, uh, like, what am I trying to say, the, the time points, uh, and we're a little closer there, so that's good. Um, so yeah, almost no points damage there, but, you know, that's, that's pretty much the story when it comes to two good players playing in Andorra. So here we go for the next one, Brazil somewhere. Uh, this one's certainly interesting, could be somewhere Amazonian. I'm going to guess in Goyas or Tocantins here. I'm going to go Goyas, so let's see. I, I just want to put him in quickly in case he like makes a bad guess. This is kind of a hedge. We won't lose too many points regardless of where in Brazil it is. Yep, ends up being uh, in the next biggest city after Brasilia around there. So yeah, it was Goyas and we get the right state. So that is actually pretty impressive. And now it's the healing round. Uh, let's actually try and get a decent guess here, better than I've, hopefully better than I've been playing today, but yeah, I imagine this one's just going to be somewhere in Alberta, so let's just go there. I mean, we only need 600 points, so I guess guessing pretty far north here won't hurt. Uh, there's even like the Canada Post logo as well, so there's no chance he doesn't get this. Uh, and okay, well, uh, near Gra I've been to Grand Prairie actually, so there you go. Uh, Dawson Creek I stayed at, um, but uh, there you go. We both go to full points, and that's kind of unfortunate that it wasn't a hard round there, but that's okay. We weren't leading by much anyway. Uh, so here we go, one, uh, so this one should just be in like, I think Southern Ecuador. I'm gonna go quickly like that because uh, we got the stubby antenna and we've got kind of dryish coverage. You don't get the stubby antenna in Peru, but it kind of looks like Peru. So that's my logic for this one. We go in the same area and uh, double damage. So this is where it starts to get more intense. I do 12 whole damage. So even stakes are still at play here. This one, we have an antenna. I'm going to check the sky for rifts quickly. No rifts. Okay, so Slovenia or Croatia seeming likely here. I'm just going to go in Croatia somewhere over there. Uh, what do I actually think here? Yeah, I think Croatia is probably the best bet. Could be Greece um, or Montenegro is still possible. Otherwise, like coastal Slovenia. Um, even Italy is possible as well, I think. And where is it exactly? Okay, so it was in Montenegro without rifts, so that's kind of unfortunate. We take a lot of damage there. I did not expect that to be so bad, but he got a nice guess, so... Whatever. Quadruple damage now. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, we're in London, I expect. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like a London bus, so let's not let him get too much, uh, thinking done, and let's just, uh, go for it right there. Um... Yeah, it looks like a London cab as well, even though it's purple. There's a London cab, so no doubt we're both right there. And yeah, this was just in central London. He's going to take away 16 points from me, so no stress so far. Just hoping for like an Australian round or something like that where we can pull ahead. This one's Germany, which is not fantastic. I hope he's not German. Uh, regardless, I think Ruhr area would be fine here. It could be Berlin, though. Hmm... I'll go Dortmund, let's see. Man, it was Berlin. Aye, aye, aye. That's unfortunate. That could be the end of us. It is. Wow, dude. Oh, I've been playing so badly. It looked more like Berlin. That's unfortunate. Okay, we lose to what seems to be a pretty good player. Uh, and uh, let me check the time now. I think I will end off there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Do let me know what you think of it. I'm sorry I didn't play that well today, but I think tomorrow I may do a live stream um, so stay tuned for that, um, and I'll try and like, get as far as I can without moving, which is the way I like to play. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in a video soon, and until then, goodbye.